So Sean, the morning after the night before, and what a great occasion for the club last night was. It was. It was a fantastic night. Of course, it was. It was a. Um, it had a feeling of a real big game, and I, I suppose when you reflect, you know, the next day it's obviously the the heartache of going out of the FA Cup is is over. You know, we have to look forward now. We have to take all the positives that we've been able to produce in the competition and take it into our league form and continue that, which is which is key. You obviously touched upon the disappointment in your, in your post-match press. You, you felt that perhaps there, were, there was a game to be won there, but you can be extremely proud of the performance from all the players involved. I thought the performance was excellent, first half in particular. I'm not too sure there'll be many occasions where you know, the gulf between two teams uh, kind of gets so much narrowed like it was last night. It was a, um, a real dominant display from us. With a lot of plaudits coming after the game from the opposition manager and you know all the all the dignitaries that follow Leeds United were very complimentary towards not just what we produced on the pitch but off the pitch as well. I thought it was a fantastic occasion, a good night for everybody to be proud to be associated with the football club. Obviously a comes glass stadium packed to the rafters and I guess you aren't going to get many moments like, like the one you experienced in the first half. Uchi experience scoring that opening goal and what a fantastic role that produced. What I thought, you know, the the occasion itself from start to finish was exactly what we wanted it to be. We wanted it to be um, a night full of emotion, and it was. You know, I, f I thought the fans were brilliant last night. Both sets really delivered, contributed to the night. But you don't get that by there being no small part to play on the pitch. I thought our boys really um, set our intentions very early in the game. Put a lot of pressure on Leeds United. Played with a lot of passion, a lot of um, energy, a lot of quality. You know, the first half performance, like I've said, was uh, was excellent, and um, we knew that. You know, when we came into the you know into the break, we knew that Leeds United would have some sort of game plan that they'd try to execute a little bit better than what perhaps they did in the first half, and they've done that. So fair play to Gary as well. Obviously, a lot of momentum created in, in the build-up to the game in terms of your league form. The game itself, you've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with, like, as you mentioned there, an opposition higher ranked than you in, in the divisions. And I guess you can take that now going into the rest of the season. I think we have to take a lot of um, positives from the opponents that we've played in the cup competitions this year. You know, Leeds United, Sheffield Wednesday, Wolves, Coventry, Shrewsbury. You know, we've done ourselves more than justice against them. We've, we've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Leeds a team that are absolutely flying at this moment in time, striving to get in the Premier League. You know, our boys have not just um, put on a show last night, but they've propelled themselves onto a platform that I want them to build themselves from. Because that was a great platform for us last night. 8,000 8, fans watching the stadium, huge game, FA Cup third round, you know, on television with everything that goes with it. You know, we're asking them not just to get caught up in the emotion and get driven by the emotion, but we're asking them to show the quality. And I thought they'd done that last night. As is the nature of football, whilst everyone gets to enjoy and, and savour those those moments from last night, you guys are back out here in the training ground and looking ahead to Saturday in Blackpool. Well, the work's already started, you know, and the disappointment's gone now. We look forward. That's the mantra. That's always been the um, you know the message that myself and Joe and the coaching staff have always worked from. It's always been take the positives and the negatives out of the game. But look forward, you know, we've got a great opportunity now to, to stay in and, in and around the top seven. You know, we've found a way in there the last three or four weeks and we want to stay there. You know, now we've got to make sure that at the end of this um, transfer window, we're stronger going into the second part of the season to where we entered it from. So a lot of good positives. You know, the, the, this club has um, made huge gains this season, especially from the cup competitions. You know, we've shown everybody that we can fight it, battle it, show the quality, everything else that goes with the um, you know the game of football when you're up against a, a higher opponent. We've done that. Now we have to continue the um, you know the resurgence in our league form.